Hey, we got there. Okay. So, last round, I will be completely honest. I have not even looked at this. Uh, yeah, I'm laughing because I don't even know what I'm coming up against here with Lulu. Lulu. But, I know I won against Scott. I, I didn't see. I don't think he attacked. Did you attack Scott? He did attack. All right, I'll give you credit. So you cleared my GG and you cleared my clones in two. Okay. I remember saying I, I thought you could clear one, but I didn't think you could clear both. And it seems to have been proven true. He took three on JKR and lost. So I'm guessing you did DR there. All right, I'm proud that. Proud that we got a nice little trip there. He hadn't got a fleet to beat Negotiator, so he lost there. But yeah, I'm very happy how that's come out. That was well worth the gamble. Cause I, I remember leaving that on Friday and I was like, I don't think this is going to work. So I'm glad that that did actually pan out. Although, yeah, it could have been a lot cleaner. The trouble is we're going to have the same defense. You can probably gather that from what I've just said. But until we see what they've put on defense, let's show you what they've got. So... Not a lot. <laughs> so, unlike the last opponent, no gas, Darth Revan, JKR, Malak, you know, anything that maybe you could kind of expect at this GPU level. Uh, Galactic Legends would be a bit of a surprise. Not un completely unexpected, but uh, I wouldn't be expecting it either. Uh, as far as stats, uh, they've got all the advantages on GP. So, uh, they're ahead of me on normal, top 80, top 65. They're ahead of me on fleet GP. However... I've got more Zetas, I've got more Gear 13s, I've got more Relic 7s and more Relic 4s and below. However, they have got more Relic 5s than me. In fact, all of their Relics are Relic 5, which I find quite interesting. Uh, I've got, well, we've both got 0, 25 or more mods. I've got 5, 20 or more versus their 3. Uh, I've got 25, 15 or more to their 17. And we both don't have a 6% or higher offense mod. So, yeah, that's what we've got to work with. Uh, let's see what uh, they've done then. So, let's go. Hmm. No attacks yet then. We've got Boba and Crew. Yeah, that looks chunky up top. If you put down here, you got CLS and Night Sisters. Okay. Well, bottom seems the favourite again. What I was just mulling over to myself is once again I've got Negotiator at the back. What I didn't actually look at with them having a ship GP higher than mine, have they got a get fleet? They've got Thrawn. So I'm guessing no get fleet. Yeah, only the top four, or the first four. So, what I would say with that in mind, I will go bottom, and I will try and clear these three teams. I don't think I'll have enough to clear them two as well, so we'll go for the half clear. And even if they clear that, we should be okay, because they've still got to try and beat Shaq. Hello there, Angie, how you doing? So, we're getting this ball rolling. We're going to do Geo's. You've donate, uh, contributed 2,000 channel points to the Mate JJ Suit Up Again Challenge. I say, I have not seen many people do that yet, so it's getting off to a slow start this time. I think there are going to be some very disappointed people. And so we're currently on 12% raised with 19 days left. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we've got Rootland donating as well for it. Never know, it might pick up. Uh, yeah, 2000 is actually the limit Twitch set. I didn't choose that. If I could have chose more, I would have done just so that people could burn their channel points. Okay, let's get rid of Chewie. Let's go for Han. Uh, that's a bit awkward, but we'll go for 3PO. Get rid of CLS. 
and just get rid of R2. Alright, that was naughty. Any chance Poggle's near? I don't think Poggle's going to take a turn. Yeah, bye bye. 60? Yeah. Wasn't convinced then. I thought maybe, maybe not, just because the Poggle. Uh, sorry, because of brute taking damage. Ostra! I say I'll lean back in my chair. Okay, we got Night Sisters. Now, I'm tempted to cheese it a little, just in case I can do something back here, but I don't think it'll help me regardless. So I've got Newton Dooku I can do something with. They could definitely take that top team out. Probably they could take the bottom team out. The issue is, I haven't gone, then got another team. <laughs> so, I can only do... Uh, like I say, I, I do need to clear this bottom wall. I need to clear all of these down here. So, hopefully, what Newt and Dooku can do will do enough back here. Then just ignore them too. So, with that in mind, we're going to go Padme here. We'll try and save a few banners by just leaving 3PO out. I don't know when, but I'm going to have to find time to just gear up another team because it's just looking a bit sad how some of these teams are. It's just occurred to me there's no zombie, so this is going to be very easy. Do a pad is getting the uh, healing. Or have I just done that move? I can't remember. Yeah, I just did that move. Okay, um... Do turns for a soaker as well. I think that we all loot max health. 61? Yeah, we're doing alright there. Alright, what have they hidden then? What have we got to beat to get half clear? At bar. Okay, okay. So... I could potentially get one of them too if I just play it smart down here. Can I click? No, I can't click for some reason. There we go. So that isn't a fantastic team. So I'm thinking if I went Palpatine, Vader. Uh, Treya, because there aren't any bugs. Um, go Savage, and because I've got no other use for him, 3PO. Let's just throw that together and see what sticks. Alright, let's get that over on Leia so she can't uh, go under stealth. Okay, we can do AoE. Merciless. 100% chance from right against Rebels and Jedi. Unless I've not got him maxed out, then it's probably a little reduced. One down. Can we get Biggs out? Not yet. Uh, Savage, when you're ready. Okay. Savage wasn't ready. Stuns, please, Papa Palps. You beautiful little Sith Lord. Let's just confuse Biggs. Uh, do that. Do that. And that. Can we knock some TM down? Bang. Lovely. I was going to say, everyone comes here for the great theory crafted teams. That's what I believe. You know, 3PO and Vader, it always makes sense. <laughs> to be honest, there is actually a bit of synergy there as far as debuffs go. I mean, I wouldn't advise people do it, but it's, there is a benefit. 
<coughs> I like myself laugh. Alright, um... I'm going to try and use Newt on this for the simple fact that I, I doubt I can take the top team out, but I've got more chance of at least doing something here. Um, let's get Watt in here. I've just passed him, Amta. There we go. <laughs> you know, I can change the name on this account, but it's still a scrub. All right. Over there you go. Everyone stealth. And who's the fastest? Let's go for Kylo. If he isn't the fastest, he looks fast. Hey, we. Hey, we should get some TM for that, because... All right, never mind. <laughs> oh, sorry, that one made me laugh more than it should. Uh, weapon tech over on Dooku. That's it, you just waste your turns. You just waste your turns. Alright, let's go over to... There? <laughs> let's go for the TIE pilot. Oh, hang on, no, let's go for... Kylo, see if we can get a stun. There we go. Oh, they're all extorted, so we should be in a good position in some ways here. Um, let's put that on mute. Let's just put some more extortion out. Right, another one down. Bye bye, what? Yeah, not great there. Okay, so we're going to start losing the effect of extortion as far as uh, max health damage. But we can at least still get some nice, tasty hits in. In theory. There we go. Healing immunity. Basic. We'll do that just to put it on, keep it on. There we go, lovely. I remember when you got the rework, this was like the big counter for First Order when they were not a great team. I mean, this still isn't a great First Order team, but you know, like this before Hux and Sif Trooper came into the game and yeah, I remember they were a hard counter to it. Only well, yeah, I think Still stay the same, kind of. But yeah, I've got nothing for this now. Absolutely jackal. Um, I'll cobble some rebels together, just see if I can surprise myself, but... To be honest, if I won this, I think I'd be okay with the guy calling me a cheater. It's more for personal pride. All right, let's do a basic. Contract triggered. <laughs> Let the fun begin. <laughs> Go on, you know you want kills. Get over with, that's it. Oh, wee! Get healing. Oh. <laughs> And give Barris credit there, at Gear 12 she does hang in there a bit, so she says, you're not going to kill me off without a little bit of a fight. But yeah, we're done there. So my hope is going to be, even if he gets past Grievous and uh, JKR, he can't get past them. What is the arena team? I forgot. Is it Padme? Yeah, Padders. Padders with Barris. And so we got a bit of pal from Vader, a few bounty hunters as we saw. Looks like they went heavy defense, to be honest. I'm not seeing them getting past that. So I'm calling a win. Oh, maybe not a foot. Yeah, I'm calling a win there. I think even if he's Padme on my uh, General Grievous, 
I don't see him having enough to take out my JKR and my Shakti. So yeah, I'm calling to win that. So maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out next stream. But for now, I think that's promising. What I am going to do very quickly, I'm just going to register this ally code so that I actually get updates if there's any school. I don't think I did it last night. For anyone who doesn't know, there is a bot out there right now. It's called Prime Bot. And it's the idea that you can put in someone's ally code and it'll update you if they score uh, GAC points. So right now I'm just putting in this ally code. Uh, 377. And I just get a little message saying, right, we'll update until the end of the, end of the round. So uh, it's not bad. I don't think I did it with my Temin opponent though, so they could have scored damage by now. I know I've done it on Crimson and I think Crimson's opponent has attacked. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> but yeah, why has my music gone quiet again? There we go. So, yeah, when eight grand, grand Arena battles on your first attempt, we'll take that. And we should have promotion with it. Up to Chromium. Cool. Uh, what we get for that? 100 crystals, three stun cups, a bit of get, three... Hollow projectors. Cool. We're going full short on that though. I couldn't really take any more one out else out with Vade, uh, with Anakin. So uh only account without that portrait. Pardon me. Okay. So as I say, I've done pretty much everything on Crimson except for the uh I haven't done conquest, but I can don't mind doing that by myself. Uh I wouldn't mind trying the shack. Uh, mission later though, oh sorry not Shaq, um, the gas phase 2 mission but Shaq could be the question mark there. Um, as you can see here, Shaq is gear 9, but she's certainly not strong. Uh, she needs Kairos, not just a few Kairos, she needs all of the Kairos. So yeah, a little bit sketchy. Um, can we finish this one off at least? Not a single one. Well, they're saying that we can actually buy some, so I'll take that. That's a okay compromise. We can finish one piece, so um, let's do that one. How many do we need there? 42. So we're not far off on the battle computers. It's just the shop prods again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try it later. I'm going to remod. I'm going to try it with a Gear 9 Shack. The rest are at Relic, so they could carry it. But I'm not sure. What I'm also thinking, I'm hoping I don't need to do e Ewok Elder. <laughs> Simply because I'm working on Piet. I want to get him to Relic 5. I want to leave him there for just so he can do C Pit. But. Yeah, if he needs must, I will switch to Alder. I mean, I need two of them, two of them, and then just all the signal data, pretty much. So, I'm hoping I don't need to do it. I'll be honest, I'm just hoping I don't. <laughs> I mean, we get, let's go into GA, I can show you what we're facing. On paper, I shouldn't need to. But, paper's a wonderful thing. The last round, Karen Frey, uh, we won. I wasn't exactly sure what I was walking into when I actually saw the, the board. Yeah, everything clear but SLKR, which the end got GL, so I'm taking that as, you know, what you'd expect. So all one shots, I believe it was. Um, I don't think there was a two shot. No, everything in one. So when it comes to the GAC leaderboard next season, uh, next week, I suspect I won't be doing too well on Battles Held. But in some ways I don't mind. I'm trying to let some people in a little bit as far as not being completely nasty putting my SLKR down. I want people to at least be getting uh, the uh, GA currency so they can at least not get held up entirely getting to Kyber. But yeah, I don't want to be too kind either. So. We've got Mini Vahil Haydan. Uh, let's show you what Mini has got. Here we go. So, 
We've got Gas, Revens, Malak, but no JKL and no Galactic Legends. So, stats wise, ahead of me on GP, I'm ahead on top 80 and top 65, they're ahead on fleet GP. So, it potentially a tough shit battle if we get to that point. We've also got a Zeta advantage, we've got a gear 13 advantage. Relics we're ahead on in 8s, 7s and 4s and below. They've got more 6s than me, but we're both level on Relic 5s. Now, this is where it could come down to the crucial point. Mini the Heels mod game is much better than mine. We've got 8 to 25 pluses to my 6. 48 20 pluses to my 25. 150 15 pluses to my 73. And 2 offense mods of 6% or higher to my 1. So, I'm expecting well modded teams here. And yeah, this is where it could be won and lost. So, let's have a look. Let's see how they're getting on. Half clear. Okay. 1-1-1. One, one, one. One and one. And you took three attempts on SLK SLKR and couldn't get through it. So, pretty much as expected. Now I can see Gas chilling down there at the bottom with Grievous, but we've also got Darth Revan up top. It's a baby Darth Revan. We've got a wedge team, we've got a nuke team. Nuke with zombie, that's interesting. Okay. I like that. I like that. Yeah, and full five of first and full grievous. So yeah, we might have to do what I did last time with GG. Oh, sorry, with five of first, we might have to two shot it. Because I didn't learn my lesson, I didn't remember to take on off defense. So yeah, we're gonna have to two shot here again. Um, GG, JKR seems the safe option there. But yeah, I'll make sure I mix up my defense this next this next round. I've been a bit lazy this week. So um, yeah, we're just gonna have to go in with Sith Empire. It's the safest option here. Saying that, Padme couldn't do it, could she? Anyone, has anyone actually tried Padme in the last week? Like, or last few weeks since the uh, rework? Well, since the nerf to gas. The nerf buff. My Padme team is quite strong. It's not the strongest, but it has got relics. You know, we're looking at two... We're looking at two, one, 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 five. Not high relics, but it could potentially soak up the uh, out of turn attacks from B1. The fast B1 as well, so it will be taking a lot of turns. Wow, fast and offensive. Okay, I'll give this guy credit. I said I was expecting good modding. That is fantastic. Yeah, very impressive. Okay. How's the Grievous? I'm expecting 150 here. 144, just shy, so... Not, by far not the worst. Okay, so we've got crit damage. Yeah, I think I'd be taking a big risk taking Padme in there. But I don't think Padme could deal with this either. I think I'd just get walked over. 325 speed, youch. Let me just mute my microphone a second.
Thank you. The 390 speed that Rex will be when Five of First is taken into account. Oof, that is a high speed Rex. That does make me think maybe Padme. Form up would be the first move. So the question is, who goes next? 276. Is it gas? So yeah, art goes next. This feels sketchy, but I get the feeling my Padme could do it. I need to look at my mods. So I know that it's not great mods. 264. I mean, the entire team should take a turn before my Padme team at that rate, but it's all about can they survive a few hits. Ahsoka's about 249 with a speed bump. Two fifty-nine there, he gains twenty, I think, from protocol droid. Yep, so he's two seventy-nine. Two six six speed. DK's eighty-three K health, that isn't a lot. Yeah, I need to remod uh, uh, Kenobi. Nasty primary, that is waste. And I've got speed primary. Yeah, I've neglected Kenobi. I don't think that can do it. I don't think my... Uh, Sith Empire can do it because that fast I just don't think they've got it in them to do it but again maybe I can get rid of the clones come back for gas with another team it's all about can I survive the opening barrage alright let's see Yourselves. Ooh. Okay. Just about survived that. Okay, we got a drain. Ooh. Bastily gone. Okay, that could work in our favour. It could, I'm not saying it will, but it could. The strong droids, they should be able to survive a bit there. Oh. I'm so lucky there that Gas decided to go for Sith Empire Trooper. Preloaded. Alright, that is not good. <laughs> to put it mildly, that is not good. <laughs> um... Let's have a look at the top again. I feel like I can clear that quite comfortably. So my priority now, clear that top, we're going to clean Grievous as well, and then hopefully we can two-shot the, the gas. 
But man, oh man, this is going to be messy. Okay. What speed's on Revan? Three or four. Okay. Just check. That was a normal Sith Empire, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. We're going to use Imperial Troopers here. It's not something I've done myself, but I've seen it a few times. We're going to use this lineup. Now, my Dark Troopers on the 6 star, gear 11, but I'm not putting range in because it feeds HK. So, let me just double check. Is HK a guy Zeta? Oh, he hasn't, so I can actually afford to do that. Let me just double check. Loyalty to the Maker. Yeah, we can actually afford to go with range. If, if HK guy Zeta, I wouldn't have gone with... Uh, I would have left range out, but I can afford to toughen up my team a little bit. Yeah, loyalty to the maker, I believe, does have a caveat where if enemies have bonus protection, the uh, aren't allowed to gain turn meter, which then nukes the uh, counter. But that should be all right. Should be alright. I'm, I'm a bit worried about Mallet, but Alec's always a worry. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, that'll nerf Emperor's Trap. Let's put that onto range. Let's get rid of HK. Uh, okay. Hold on. 60, cool. So, what are we going to do? We're going to try and save Abme and JKR. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. I'm curious if I can take out that with something really low end, like Kylo. I don't believe there's a stun in that team. There is a daze. I'm going to try and punch up with a Kylo solo there. Might be a risk. Just hoping I'm right, there's nothing there that can prevent it. Okay, that could be annoying, so let's go there. Got no healing immunity, so let's do that. Let's do that. Right, let's go for Captain Han. Let's go for Biggs. Okay, sorry if I didn't talk much through that. I was holding my breath. <laughs> 64. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got to deal with three Night Sisters with Dooku and Newt, essentially, so I feel like this is relatively easy. I very rarely use Bounty Hunters, but have I got any potential here? Oh no, it's only, it's only Django. Mandalorians are there. Have I got anything Seppi related? Yeah, I could do a Seppi team of my own. Be a bit Oh, I can use Geos. Yeah, Geos should be fine there. I'll be amazed if they can't do it. So, let's take them in. Yeah. 
get a bit of a, a train going, but uh, we should be able to clear it. Okay, let's go over there. And over there again. Oh, sorry, did you want to stealth you lot? Sorry, I, I didn't know that. Let's uh, hit Dooku. Oh, sorry, were you trying to revive? Oh, sorry, Daka. Should have told me. Let's go there. Brute still hasn't taken a turn yet. There we are. Bit of profit for you all. Yeah, we're probably going to lose a bit of protection here. I just don't think I can recover it in time. Yeah, we're going to take a 55 here. Or 58 even. Okay. I'll take 58 because I was expecting 55, so... Not bad, that. Okay. What have we got up here? We've got a Malevolent Fleet 5-star. we got a Home 1 Fleet. Okay. I'll try and do Finalizer on Home 1 and Me Malevolent Mirror. So... I need to try and clear this. We're going to try Padme. I was weighing it up before and could it do it, could, might it not do it. I've got to try it. Hopefully the preload will work on my favourite teensy weensy bit. Maybe a cooldown that I didn't want will be off cooldown. Something like that, I don't know. Could be that they just wrapped me worse. <laughs> Okay, days. Armor Shred on Kenobi. So far, this isn't looking great. There we go. Bonus protection, please. There we go, sitting down. All right. Can we take some turns, please? Get to fives fast. Is this my concern? Gas is already back up. Any game down. Okay, we got bonus turn from JKA. Come on. Game down, that's it. Trouble is Rex has got a turn lined up and chances are it's form up. Yep, form up. So gas is getting back up straight away. Oh, okay. That one ain't working. I think I'd have struggled even if it had been a one hit. So, let's take this out. That is my priority right now. So, we've got Plo somewhere down here. Here we go. I might have to take him up to Rally 5 just so he's got more event viability. <sighs> yeah, this is the lesson of this week. Keep on for offense. I've got an easy swap next time. I can just put um, Padme on defense. Okay, let's go for B2.
Uh, let's go for B1 a minute. Get some foresight up. Uh, AoE. Double tap with JKR. It was still looking alright, although Grievous is going to get angry momentarily. Let's bring back Yoda. Um, yeah, all in on Droidica. Yeah, we want to keep the stun, but I just wanted to annoy him. Foresight. Can't really do anything with banner recovery. That's annoying. Fifty-two, damn. Okay, what's the score before ships? Twelve seventy-five. Twelve seventy-four. So sixteen. Three hundred sixteen needed. So, let me just get my calculator out. I need 65 banners per battle here. That's a big ask. Let's do finalizer here. <clears throat> this worries me because finalizer is messy on banners anyway. But somehow I always end up messing up this counter, so I just hope I get it right this time. Otherwise, I'm going to ask someone who's got a good home one in my fleet to just drop it for a day so I can work on it. Done. Come on, one more. Get get it. There we go. Alright, I can live with that. It's not great, but I can live with it. Okay, let's bring in my other TIE Fighter. We stun the wire wing. What's coming in? Wedge? Or Biggs? Okay. Okay, a bit of health steel. Lovely. Uh, let's go back to the wire wing. Uh, let's spread Termi to the team. We get some protection back. Lovely. Let's do that, just try and get some health back for the command shuttle. I mean, I was robbed of banners there, turn one. Let's do that. Let's put Hunted there. Okay. 61, okay. So, if I can under-squad this, I need four extra banners, so 69 would do it. So, I'm going to go with just these three and hope I can win the mirror match without reinforcements. The risk is that Spy comes in and then it gets very messy. So, hopefully, the fact that it's five star instead of seven, I get the advantage there. <clears throat> Let's go for some facts to start with. Okay, 
Right, one down. Yeah, I don't mind that terribly. We only did a basic with some fact before, so we've got a stun available when we can use it. Now. Again, basics. Hey, we. Hey, that should die off. That should die off. Alright, I'll, I'll kill it. Okay, that's the original, so we got rid of that. The issue is now, I've got to go for that. When it's out in the open. Not a very fun game. Can we stun it? Because it's going to get a mass attack somewhere. I didn't want particularly to stun it because it was stealth it, but better than some options. Uh, Basic over there. Alright, basic there. Okay, sun facts down, not great. I'm, I'm ability block, great. Right, I've got to go get some buzz droids out there. I'm not doing enough in that front. Yikes. Right, I've got to go for that one. I've got to go for it. Damn it. Yeah, they're going to get turned. Man, oh man, oh man. This is... This is not a win game. This isn't... Yeah, I've lost. He's done. Yeah. Okay. I think we've lost this round. Oh, do it in a minute, yeah. Let's try this just as a clean-up. Um... Do with the taunt. I haven't got anything that will. Oh no, I've got items too. What am I talking about? Um, soldier will start with. Have spine slave one on the bench. Yeah, I'm annoyed at that. I'll lose the GA purely because I tried on the squadding that badly. I should have bought spine. Okay. I mean, we have got, we did knock it down at least, it's just I don't like knocking it in two. Yeah, we're, what, 25 behind? And I haven't got a gas counter now. I've just got no idea what I can throw together here. Let's put Tarkin in there. Tarkin's Empire, he'll feed a bit to your airspeed to Vader. But yeah, this is not great. The trouble is gas is getting up too quick. I need that initial stun to control the battle and yeah. Having on on defense is reckless. Give that to Vader. Okay, we'll go merciless straight away. Okay, 
tenacity up, so I'm not wasting that. Trying to get rid of the protection as much as anything. Yeah. Just nothing here is going to do it. I mean, if I, I haven't even got a big zombie, have I? Not like I can try and force a taunt on a zombie. Yeah, my zombie's squishy. To say the least. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think we're going to have to take the loss here. That's painful. Tried that. <laughs> the preload that's wrecking me now as well. They're all... Rex has got four more lined up for the first turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the loss here. Painful. Elder is gonna have to get a relic. So, um, there's nothing more I can do there. That one just sucks. I mean, bottom line of this entire week, I've had two encounters with a gas on defense, and putting Han on defense has cost me. First time it cost me just for the fact that I had to two shot it, this time I couldn't even two shot it. So yeah, lesson learned. Do not put that on defense. Okay. So I said before how it was going to go if I did get that. So Wednesday's the next stream. I should have enough route materials for that. So hopefully that's going to be the last one for a while. Anyway, in the meantime, let's get over to Temin. What's the feat there? Let's just collect it. There we go. Win 10 squad arena battles. So, Tem Wexler up against Nook Megan. Uh, last round we had a loss against Dr. Eggmund. Uh, Dr. Eggmund was able to clear my JML up top. And he also got a full clear. So, oh, yeah. Quite painful because Gas and Geo's held the fort for him at the back. So, yeah. Um, we need a win. Uh, you know, this is looking a bit painful today. Uh, so, Nutmegan, let's show you what Nutmegan's got. So, they've got Sifternal Emperor, and as the underlying theme of my GA today is, I have not switched my teams around, so JML's on defense. I don't mind that to a degree, because it does mean that where, even though they'll have to use a very soft counter to my JML, they will still have to use a counter, so hopefully it burns their Galactic Legend. Um, they've got Gas as well, but they haven't got Darth Revan or JKR. They haven't got Malik or JKL, so... If Sifton Lamp is on defense, then we're both going to cancel each other out, and then there's not a lot else to worry about. So, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out, so let's have a look at the mods. Well, not just mods, but stats. I've got higher GP, both top 80 and top 65. Uh, fleet GP, they've got an advantage in. However, I've got slightly more Zetas. I've got quite a fair few more Gear 13s. And that reflects in the Relic scores. 14 to 18 on 7s, 11 to 7 on 5s, 22 to 17 on 4 or below. And yeah, it's only Relic 6 that they win out on, which I don't completely understand. I mean, I never understand leaving it at 6, so to have 6 at 6 is a bit high, for, in my opinion. 
And as far as mods go, 125 or higher speed mod compared to my 12, that is quite a good sign. So hopefully this time I win the mod game. Uh, so yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Uh, okay, let's go here. Yeah, we cancelled each other out. Uh, we both put a GL down. However, they made the mistake I made in the first round by putting it down the bottom. So, yeah. Let's have a quick look at it. I would like to try my CLS on that if I have the opportunity. I've seen some CLSs can beat Sif Eternal Emperor, so I'd like to try it. Um, I think the key would be don't use call to action just so that you don't have a lot debuff or a lot buff. Um, Grievous, I don't know for sure. Maybe we could try Padme on that. I know that isn't a great option, but it's something. Uh, over here, we've got their CLS. It's not a Chupio variant, so there's a good chance I could use something light on that. We've got Shack clones and we've got Bounty Hunters. Priority one, we're clearing the top. Just for the simple fact that my JML's up top. I would be surprised if they can beat my JML with what they've got. So yeah, we're clearing that top and we're basically saying, right, even if you clear my bottom, I'm getting more banners up top. That's the plan. So we're going to do it that way. Um, now you see, I'm in two minds about these two. Ray is such a clean counter there. But... I'm curious if Ray could do that. Maybe not Relics, but I'm looking and thinking what could take that out. And that's where I'm struggling a little. Perhaps a very small Bounty Hunter team could take that out. Uh, sorry, well, smaller Jedi team could take that out. Maybe some Sappies. I've got my Newt Sappies. Let's try the new Seppies here, actually. I think that... Ooh. Yeah, we'll try the new Seppies here. Even though I do obviously rate CLS, I'm thinking, what is something that could get around it? And I'm thinking, 260 speed there. What are we looking at with Han? Wow. No mods. Ooh. We've got an advantage there. Okay. This guy didn't lock in right. No wonder we're both bottom. So, we're trying the new Seppies. Even if they've got Horn shoots first, I'll be amazed if that Horn can punch through me. Maybe Chewie can help out, but I'd be amazed if they could punch through an important tune. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was expecting. So, do that. Let's do a roly poly. Okay, that kind of sucks, but we'll just roll with that in a minute. Let's top up uh, Magna. Let's do the AoE. Okay, Extortion. Let's put that onto Chewbacca. Let's do a basic, just not go for the AoE. And we get rid of him. Nearly. Basic. Lovely. Let's go for a basic there. Let's heal up uh, B2 because he's looking very low. Yeah, I'm not liking how this is looking right now. If anything, Newt is barely taking a turn. Alright, um, let's do a roll.
nuke him. Reason being, there's no buff clans. Uh, you know, they can't get rid of my damage immunity now. So, in theory, I should be able to hold out here. Roll. Arn should keep providing charge for me. There we go. Stuns could be a pain, but we got tenacity up, thankfully. Roll. Right, can we nuke Fulcrum? Nearly. We m Ooh, okay. That was bad timing on my part. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to shot it. Yeah. I think I expected that to hold better than it did. Sorry, I expected it to hold less than it did. Um, all right, I'm going to carry on with the rest of the wall a minute. I don't like that. We've basically given them an advantage already, so not the best start. I want to see how my non dark side bounty, well, my dark side bounty hunters get on here. Why am I doing that? My head's in the shed with that loss. Sorry about that. Let's start again. I didn't mean do bounty hunters. <laughs> okay. Resistance. That's what I was after. Let's send them in. Um, I will need CLS. If, uh, sorry, I will need 3PO if I'm going to do CLS on another team. So let's do. Resistance Trooper. I thought I got that with Droid Crew at the end. I thought it'll be a very dirty win, but I thought oh, I should get it. And then, yeah, Fulcrum just got me at the wrong time. Okay, let's take that away from Bosk. Stealth everyone but BB. We'll double tap over that. Uh, can we stun over? Uh, okay. Let's just take that two meter away. He's got uh, ability block, so he can't do anything. Let's try and go for Django. Let's give Bulba a tap. Burn, baby, burn. Uh, still got exposed, so we'll carry on there. We'll do that. Let's go for an expose that. And that. Let's go there. Illuminated Destiny. Tap. Stun. Nope. Stun. Thank you. No one's near a turn exactly, so I'm going to do a basic. Wiggle. Let's keep Bulba quiet. We stun Django. Lovely. Basic. Let's go for IG. Lovely. This is going very smoothly. Einzy! With a rate of 39. Thank you very much, Einzy. Don't say. What's Einzy been up to? Don't say. Don't say. I've heard of inappropriate behaviour, but Einzy, come on, man. Come on. Don't say. Has he been. Has he preloaded again? Don't say. Is that what he's been up to? Hello there. Hello there, Job. Thank you for the follow. Hello there. Did I, get... I didn't actually pay attention at the end then. 58. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, recap for those of you just joining. Uh, Mr. Bones, Hello thank there. you for the follow. Hello there. Um, I've been a bit lazy. I've put my GL on defense without actually paying attention. And yeah, he's got a GL on his defense. So, cancel each other out a bit. Thank you for the follow, GL Darth Luthicus. Um, 
I've miss it my CLS or their CLS and worse still the mods were off to say the least uh yeah I, I messed up <laughs> so um yeah we're just taking that out in one we're going to clear out the chat clones we're going to get this CLS down and honestly we're just going to hope that he can't one shot my GL <laughs> but yeah could be interesting. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we've just done the other two accounts. Uh, I lost on one. I think I'm going to win on the other. So this is basically two for one for the day. Um, yeah, thankfully we don't do any Ewok Elder bets on this account. Um, okay. What do we do against Shaq clones then? What speeds are we looking at? Uh, 268. Okay, not the fastest. So, I think my bounty hunters could get ahead of these. Let's have a look. I think that was what was on my mind before. I was clicking on bounty hunters and I hadn't actually got a plan in mind. So, 30 speed. Um, my boss is about 280, 290. Maybe 300. 303. Hey! Okay, so. That should be enough to give me a head start against the clones. At least enough to get ahead of Rex. I can't say I've done lineups like this for a while though. Usually see clones with gas, not shack. Hey. Great, taunt up. Let's say I could get out ahead of uh, Rex. Yeah, I, I meant not ahead of him. That little caveat of me saying I've not faced many of these lineups in a while, it's suddenly, oh yeah, I forget about the, the turn meter gain from Shaq. Right, we're not going to land many of them to say the least. Um, base it. At least he isn't countering. Alright, bye bye, Zam. Rip. Okay, this is going well. I might need my CLS now, but the trouble is that would really, that would really impact going down bottom. That was a ch was that a chunky grievous? Oh, it wasn't the chunkiest. Okay. We need something really short and cheesy here. We need something that can just take out these two. I'm thinking... The Dooku Solo? That should do it. I'd say R2's got a stun, but he can't stun for that long. Counters, lovely. That's what I was after. There we go. That's the stun I was after. She can't keep it, but we can counter her. Ooh, okay. Really didn't take that into account. Okay, have that. Counters, come on. On a near, I'm near a turn. Get it. There we go. Now it's just tapping R2. Just keep attacking at a turn, Dukes. Just keep tapping. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was cheap. <laughs> uh, Shaq clones, though. Night Sisters? Or maybe use my leftover Jedi. No, that is leftover. That that is bare bones leftover. 
I could maybe use that against the GG. So yeah, Night Sisters might stand a better chance here, but they ain't great. This is just purely that Daka might hang in there. Very sketchy. Very sketchy. Right. Okay, that was a mistake. Great start, great start. Okay, they've got a load of tenacity. I've used my cleanse. Fantastic. Let's just heal Talzin a little bit. Yep, Daka's just hanging in there barely. Yeah, this is the game plan I had in mind. This is going 100% perfect. Um, let's do that. There we go. That's what I needed. Revive. Okay. Uh, revive. Buns. Stun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, zombie. Zombie did nothing. <sighs> okay, old man's up there. First time, that was my fault. We're gonna have to see a less it. Gotta see a less it. But man, oh man. Not my day. Not my day. I'm. I'm cacking it. Alright. Let's just get this guy quiet. Uh, oh! You see, they, they, they really wanted that, didn't they? Yeah, it wasn't a great option there, Weens, I will say that. I going to say, to be honest, I haven't really got a clean shack counter. CLS is it, but I was trying to save that for the bottom, but the bottom's seeming a bit futile right now. Uh, let's do that. Right now, I'll take any banners I can get. Oh. Hmm, okay. 26. So, what's up top? Drum roll, please. Um, we've got Geos and we've got an Empire Fleet. Okay, the Empire Fleet could be a concern with the seven stars, but... I think Atbar can take that quite cleanly. I'll make sure I take some reinforcements, just for the fact that I don't think I'll need them for the Geos. Um, who am I missing? Cassian. There we go. Hopefully I don't need these many, let's say that. Um, I just know that the TIE Bomber can be a bit of a pain. Surprised as well Marauder's starting, because Marauder's usually a great tank to bring in. Oh, I shouldn't have... Okay. Got a misplay again. Shouldn't have gone for the uh, outmaneuver first turn. Okay. We can recover, it's just not ideal. Funny, I, I did a little video montage during the break, and I actually do put my fails in there, because I do fail a fair bit. Okay, that, that sucks a bit. Yeah, we're not going to get attacks out of turn for a bit. Um... I'm thinking Phantom just to get some target lock on the field. Just try and tank some damage. You can always bring in another reinforcement after if it goes wrong. Okay, we can wiggle here. 
Try and get rid of that Marauder. Right, Empress Shuttle. Yeah, we're kind of stuck on the bomber again now. Um, Tapa Tapa. Wiggle again. Yeah, let's bring in the Y Wing. We can just we can just uh, get rid of the protection. Uh, yeah. Still taunting, but we can put a target lock over there. Let's get some protection back on uh, Biggs. There we go, right. Weensy, weensy, weensy bit, Althea. Come on. Heal up, Biggs. Heal up. Come on. Right, Scimitar, where are you putting that? Over there. Not where I put it, but... Right now, you've got the... You're doing a bit better than I am, AI. You're doing a bit better than I am. Maybe not then. Alright. Vader. Yeet. Come on, we're nearly there. Ooh, why wing gone? Okay. Mm, okay, that'll do. Okay. I'm glad they're both full fleet. Let's say that. <laughs> okay. Negotiator versus Geos. That should be straightforward. Even though my negotiator is fairly crappy. It should handle this. Um, got plow under reinforcements. There he is. Okay. Hmm. Not been a great GA today. Not been great. I'm still annoyed at myself on the other account. I put a very weak CLS team on defense, but by doing that, I cost myself harm and uh, couldn't beat five of first team. So yeah, lessons to be learned from this one today. Essentially, don't be lazy. I knew that ability block would go on uh, fives. I just knew it. Okay. We get Republic Protection out there. Just try and keep Soaker in the game. Okay. Can we get the, the spy out? Lovely. Uh, let's get rid of all that junk. Right, bring in Plo for some protection recovery. Alt. Nearly that. Basic. And basic. 60. Okay. Yeah, we got the half clear. Have I got anything for this GG? I've got the Bastila team. I can try it. I mean... I can try it. <laughs> I was going to say, not a lot's gone right today, so in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. Um, yeah. Who shall we put in as a fifth? Kanan? Let's go. I mean, it's not a big GG. That's the positive. It's just the droids around are pretty big. Okay. 
Okay, that was a bad idea, I think. Okay, let's go over there. Try and get B2 out. He's a chunky B2. Kind of what you'd expect anyway, but still. Um... Okay, let's give that to GMY. And again. Spread some foresight. Just do basic for now. More basics. Lovely! Okay, Ezra's just about hanging in there. Slam. Let's go over there to B1. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to go back to put through the taunt. As soon as I did that AoE, I thought, hang on, wrong move, wrong move. Um, I don't really want to taunt yet. I feel like we might be okay without it. At least for a minute. Counter, counter. Um, basic. Only one without full sight is Kanan. And Yoda, apparently. <laughs> Fancy bringing him back, Jolie. Uh, have that, Kanan. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, have that, uh, Kanan. Slam. If, yeah, Kanan. Kanan's down. Um, four turns until we can get someone back. And it's stuck on Magna, which isn't great. Okay, Bastila's bonus protection held out well there. But we're now falling apart. Ooh. Yep. Okay, so not even nibbling at the bottom, it seems. I mean, we got rid of B2. That's a positive. Maybe we can do something like this. I know as a last resort, we can do... Ewoks. <laughs> I know Ewoks can do GG. Oh, man, I'm fighting for every banner here. Okay. All right, merciless. Get me around in. Ability block. Thank you. Okay, let's get force crush out there where B1 is, and can we do a calling blade? Thank you. Okay, isolate, and we're going to pop that onto Vader. Just chip away at Magna. Yeah, we lost two there, no big surprise. We're going to fracture that one. Okay, pass that to Papa Palps. Okay, that worked. You know, I, I knew that would work, honest. Let's do that. Hey! Yeah. Don't know what I was expecting that. Ooh. Okay, 20, 26. Okay, so for Tunnel Emperor, you, you can hold the bottom. You can have it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, just to show anyone who hasn't seen, we have got a full 
Yeah, my up top. So hopefully that's a hard counter to anyone who hasn't got a Galactic Legend. This guy hasn't got JKR, Darth Revan, Gas, or JKL. So yeah, you'd like to think you can't beat that. I mean, even with Imperial Troopers, I don't think you could punch through it. Uh, Padme, yeah, you could get through Padme, I suspect, with something. Um, at bar, that's easy food as well for Imperial Troopers or something like that. Uh, if we go down below, if he wants to take the bottom route, then yeah, we've got Mon Mothma and we've got Rex Wampa, which uh, Yahweh uh, has, has been putting on defense. So I thought I wanted to try, out, try it out myself, considering gases with uh, JML. But yeah, I'm mildly curious how that gets on, especially as there is this, essentially a sacrifice in there. You know, if anyone goes a bit too heavy, you know, it's going to beef these three up. Oh. Fives will beef these three up. So I'm curious how that gets on. Because I did try and put something a little bit beefy at the back. Not the beefiest, but I thought I will put these five in. Even if it isn't a hard team, it's still something that's got relics. So you can't, say, take in a bunch of gear 10 tunes. Um, but this, I wouldn't say it's going hard hit. I would like to give uh, Ness some attention one day. But there is some annoyingness in this team. You've got... A revive with Bando, you got a revive with Captain Han, you got damage immunity potential with uh, Bando and Nest. Or maybe not damage immunity, but it's essentially that with her. So there is annoying stuff in that team, and I'd like to see how it plays out. So I do leave it on defense for that reason. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. We'll find out if this guy decides to attack. We've got a feat, completely clear 18 Grand Arena territories. Okay, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the account we've just been on, Crimson, and what we're going to try and do is try phase two of the gas mission. So, switch. Alright, journey guide. Gas. I could just go through quickly, just show you what I was talking through. 306 speed, 83k health. Kenobi, 91k health. Not a lot of speed, but I don't really mind that. He's got a little chunk of armor, should help him. 3PO, we just wanted speed and potency really, but speed is up there. Potency is over 100. Ahsoka. 249 speed, so with Daring Padawan, I'll admit I got it wrong, she, she gets 25, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh no, hang on. If Kenobi gives a crit, it's avoidance, she'll go up by 50 speed, uh, by 50 speed, but it's 25 base, so the way I see it, 25 is 274, so 274 isn't shabby for her. I'd like more health, but I think I need more relics for that. Um, and then Shaq, Shaq's the one who's going to struggle here. Not a lot of health at all. I've tried to get her with speed just to get her a turn early. But she needs that Cairo really to get going. But we're going to give it a go. We're going to see if she can do it. Or we can do it with just the, the main four. And just Shaq maybe gets a turn in to help. <laughs> okay, not great. Oh, okay. Rip. Maybe I need to keep Sha uh, Kenobi with the critters immunity and keep Ahsoka out in the open. The weird thing is, Shaq is surviving. She hasn't got a lot about her. She's not got a lot of health. She's got a bit of speed, but she's not like a, a good Shaq, obviously. <clears throat> so you look at it and you think, really, I just need to manage my abilities with her while I've got her. All right, do that. And again, I'm going to call in Shaq. That gives Ahsoka offense up with 15 stacks, kills B2. And then I am going to do that on Kenobi for the crit hits immunity. Although that was a waste there, I could have got some damage on the Magna. Alright, let's do that. Let's get rid of this one. We'll try to. Okay, 
Okay, 19 stacks. Let's use that on this Magna because that one again is pretty low. Five stacks. All right, let's get that one out. Hey, that one's got to be down. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's keep Critter's immunity on Kenobi. Yeah, Shaq's gone. I'm sure there's a damage immunity coming in. Yeah, there we go. That one's weak, so we're going to go for that. Give that to Padme. And that feels like overkill, so let's just try and use the 10 stacks over there. Just keep them both low. 21 stacks there. Boy, that, if that was overkill, then the 21 stacks is definitely overkill. Uh, face it. Got 10 stacks still. Let's do that. Okay. Here's where the fun begins. Oi. All right. If that's Kenobi. I know that he's going for some mark on B1. I just want to start getting as much damage in as I can. Yeah, okay. We're okay with that. We're okay. He's going to get really mad soon, I know. We're going to start using 3PO's basic only. Yeah, damage immune. Okay. It's basic for now. Three stacks won't do much, but we're going to try and use it. Get some courage. Basics. Okay. We're looking okay. 19 stacks. Just got to keep him quiet. Courage again. Let's keep stacking it. Keep stacking it. Ooh. That's it, Kenobi. Just stand strong. Stand strong. You're a good Kenobi, aren't you? You're a good Kenobi. Come on. We've got this. We've got this. We're going to kick, kick that clanker down to the ground. All right. Come on. All right. That feels good. Okay. Right, so we can do the phase three bit, and then that is it for today, just for the fact that I haven't got the druids ready. <laughs> that does tell me I don't imminently have to work on Shaq. I'll, I'll probably... I don't know what I'm going to do with Shaq, to be fair. She, I will carry on working on her, but it feels weird because I can still... I can go on to the druids now. Like, mm, I want Shaq for JMK anyway, so I might as well work on her, but... <sighs> All right. Yassi boy, in you get. With this new sexy face. I know you can lose this one if you press the wrong button. Was it days first then, Armor Shred? Smooth phase three. You don't get shards for that. That's a bit of a bummer. Okay, so yeah, as you can tell here. Uh, uh, you say that, Weens. I'm sure Arnold lost the first time he did it. I'm sure he did, because it was like awkward. 
I do think there was a, a wrong move. I might be wrong. It's been a while since I've seen it, but yeah, I'm, I think there was an impo a wrong move. But yeah, I've done all I can here. I've got how many shards on my own now? Yeah, one one ten. I'm already ahead because I've got like little bits from the anniversary and all that. So, yep, we're looking good. Just need to build up the droids. And to be honest, I don't mind that because I've got Grievous at Relic too. So that gives me two reasons to do it. But yeah, gonna take some time. B one's there on GP, but we all know. B1 doesn't stay there. But yeah, I'm happy. We're looking good. We're making progress. And I want to just show that today because it's like the days when I just think I'm not making progress here. Oh, hang on. Off we go. Oh, general conflict. Okay. Whatever. Got here 45. That's not too bad. Thought I'd be doing a lot worse in Arena today. Um, okay. Let me see. All platoons filled. I think we're still waiting for deploy here. Yeah, we're still waiting on deploy. I'll admit I have done all my missions here, but I was just nosy. It's like, how far off are we? Right, two stars, bottom and middle. Already three star up top. Okay. That sound. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap up here just for the fact that I have got nothing else I need to do on stream. It's like if I do Conquest, it's like... Uh. So, uh, yeah, let's put this screen on set. Alright, I've got... I've got 18 viewers here. So, let's have a quick nosy. Have we got anyone we can raid? And I've got to be honest, my... Twitch feed still says Heinz is streaming even though he raided me, so I think it's a bit out of date. Let's uh, let's see what else is going now. Try that again. All right, I can see Scribe streaming. And I can see Thisk is streaming now. I haven't been to Scribe in a long time, so I'm going to set that up to be honest. Okay, uh, just before I go, I want to thank. We've had a follow from MSP M four one one. Thank you for follow. Heinzy raided with a party of 39, so thank you for the raid, Heinzy. Uh, Job, uh, Mr. Bones, and GL Darth Lucas, thank you for your follows as well. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday. We're doing a giveaway. £10 uh, or equivalent gift cards going to be given away to anyone who takes part in the giveaway, so tune in for that. Other than that, I'll see you... Well, I'll see you whenever I see you. Bye, folks. <laughs>